everybody. Okay. Why is the game not... Oh, there we are. Okay, wait, just... Why is the game not loading? It... Why is it not... Hi, Hazy. Um... Why is the game not showing up on the screen? Am I losing my mind? Like, I don't... What is going on here? Okay, um... One moment. This is bizarre. Oh my god in heaven. What? Um... Okay... What is going on? No. That's not even the active window. I don't. I'm sorry, I just have no idea what's going on with OBS right now. I... I'm so confused i haven't even used obs to do anything i I'm so, so like none of the settings have changed it's recognizing the audio but not the game it doesn't matter if i game capture just doesn't even work and window capture is capturing windows that aren't even up. Okay, let me... <coughs> I don't... I... Sorry for the inconvenience, everybody. And I was only running with tunic because Kirby wasn't arriving. All right, now it's working. What the I don't even know. Whatever. Whatever OBS. You j just whatever. Hi everybody. I I'm losing my mind. Also, that is a bit on the loud side. Let me... Okay. 
So yeah, how's everybody else's day going? That was weird. As for me, I'm no longer on call. I made a banana pudding. I'm being told we're giving some of it to my sister's new boyfriend. I would I would like compensation, but yeah. Ouch. Get wrecked. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, because apparently my mom told my sister that I was going to be making banana pudding. And then my sister told her new boyfriend because my sister likes to babble about literally everything that goes on in this family. And then he was like, ooh, I would like to try some. And the rest is history. Eh, no worries. I too am also suffering from not a lot of sleep. On call kind of does that to you. Talking of siblings, that's not even like the worst she's ever done. Let's see, like she will always tell everyone she knows, like, oh, my brother is good with computers and you can go to him for any computer issue you have or my brother can make you a website. And then you get stuck talking to people who want you to make a website for them, but they have no idea what they want said website to look like or contain, and then you're just wasting your time. I don't want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. Didn't sleep at all because migraines, eyes feel like orbs. Oh, Hope you feel better soon. Never had a migraine, but... I have heard from people who have had them that they are no fun. I cannot begin to imagine the pain you're in. Hope it clears up. Let's... What else has my sister blabbed about? Oh, she wants, like, when I got my, uh, diploma? Was it when I got my diploma? No, it was when I got a scholarship. And she wanted to take a picture of the letter I got that had, like, all my personal information and stuff on it. Like, she wanted to take a picture and post it on Facebook. Like, girl, if you lost your mind, I'll help you find it. Oh, God. I don't like him. Okay. Whew. Need to remember, I have a shield. <coughs> I also learned that I apparently sequence broke. Like, um... The librarian boss that I was like really struggling against last time and ultimately beat. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to fight him yet. But we managed. We showed that filthy librarian <laughs> that books are dumb. No, books are good, books are cool. 
I just wanted to quote Roy Koopa from Paper Mario, or no, not Paper Mario, Mario Luigi Paper Jam, which is actually a good game. Um, you're standing on spikes. Oh no, the, the, that that's grass. Never mind. I was not paying attention to my health. Okay. That's my fault. Let me actually explore in here first before I try to go, like, elsewhere. How do you stop being on fire? I don't want to be Alicia Keys right now. I don't want to be on fire. Oh, fire fox. I see what you did there. I can't really comment on it as I've never been on fire. But does stop, drop, and roll work? I feel like there was something I once heard that was like, Oh, it's a myth. It might not be that specific. Well, you piece. Oh my god, oh my god. Help! Uh, no. Get over here. Okay. Yes, you want to smother the flames? Fair enough. What was it I saw that was a myth? I know it was fire-related. I, I just can't remember. Oil or other flammable on the ground. The way to... Exchange fires to deprive of oxygen. That is indeed correct. Which is why if you ever have a grease fire and stuff, don't ever like try to pour water on it, because that only really make things worse. Just try to smother the flames. Just most of the work is dust, dirt, or natural extinguishers. Hello, Rosen. Uh, no, get down here, boy. Can I push this down? I'm sorry for sequence breaking game. Aw, oh, come on. Yeah, we were kinda. I mean, well, fires in general, because I asked, like, does the stop, drop, and roll thing work? I was corrected that it indeed does. There was something I heard a while back, though, that was like fire myths, and I, for the life of me, cannot remember what it was specifically. Because it was like something about fires that like a lot of people believe, but is not true. But it's like very specific. I feel like the game is punishing me for sequence breaking.
get over here. And suddenly I'm reminded of the multiple times we had fires at Wendy's. We once had a uh, fryer that was on fire. I should not have walked directly into fire that was on the ground. But yeah, one of the fryers actually caught on fire because there was no grease in it. Like we had let all the grease out, but someone had left the fryer on, which is something you never want to do in a fast food place. And the manager who was there genuinely was asking, like, should I use the fire extinguisher? Like, y yes! She was afraid to use the fire extinguisher. Because that meant we, like, would have had to clean out the fryer from, like, all the residue once the fire was out. Like, how stupid can you be? Oh, I'm supposed to be praying at those. Oh, oh, I missed one earlier then. People act like they're not allowed. That's... Yeah, like, that's where you get to the whole, like, Milgram experiment thing. Which is, like, a psychological experiment to say, like, how people res respond to, like, when they receive orders from someone who is, like, supposedly of higher rank or status or knowledge than they are. And that happens all the time in, like, fast food and other things. It's like, you'll run into these very specific, arbitrary rules that are in place that you have to follow. Ooh. Because it's like with the fire thing. Fires have broke out at Wendy's before, but the regular employees are like, well, we were told we're not supposed to touch the fire extinguishers. Okay, however, lives are at risk. I'm going to questioning you using the first aid kit. Wow. And, like, I always go back to this one episode of... Um, Malcolm in the Middle, where Malcolm was working in the uh, grocery store, and like they had their box breaking area where you could only break boxes in that area and then take them to the uh, dumpster. And Malcolm was like, Why don't we just break the boxes? next to the dumpster as it's right there like well no that you you can't do that because this is the designated box breaking area so malcolm like regardless still just started taking like the um boxes to the dumpster and then breaking them and it turns out that like that was saving, like, a lot of time. And it was an overall good idea. But he got reprimanded because that was not the designated box breaking area. Arbitrary rules and stuff are just stupid. <laughs> So 
seems about right, honestly. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Raise some MP. I'm trying to think what like other sort of arbitrary rules we had at Wendy's. Like there were some that were genuinely good, like wear the cut resistant gloves before you use the cutter like the tomato cutter and the uh, lettuce cutter chopper cuz uh yeah if your hand gets caught on that it's not fun times I speak from experience from when we didn't actually have any cut resistant gloves because the manager at the time, she did not feel it was like important enough to get new cut resistant gloves. She was an idiot. She was an idiot. And also a petty bitch. It was like one woman she didn't like, like this older woman. She, she held on to dumb grudges, this manager, but... Yeah, she didn't like this older woman because the older woman was not afraid of her. And so one day the older woman was in the walk-in, like, cooler. And passed out. And, like, fell on the floor. One worker, like, went in there, found her on the floor and was like, <gasps> we, we need to call the ambulance! Like, and then manager was like, Why? Be because uh, oh, uh, names to hide their identities. Uh, Laura f fell out on the floor. She's she's out cold in the walk-in. Like, eh, I mean, if we call the ambulance, though, it's, they gonna have to come in the back, and we gonna have to open up the door. And... Can we just take her out to the dining room so she can get some air? Like, <gasps> She's out cold. Like, all right, fine, fine. Call nine one one. That's some bullshit. Let's see. She also didn't like this one sixteen-year-old who wasn't afraid of her. And then one day he like just pulled out of the um, parking lot to drive home and he immediately like swerved after getting out and like crashed into the um, light post outside and all of us in there were like oh dang is he okay he was he, he was okay like he wasn't injured or anything like at all but still it's like messed up and then this petty manager was like, mm, well, that's what he gets. Like, she was insane. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Yeah, she was just an all around bad person. Probably upset that she was, like, stranded working a fast food job. I'm not fighting another gigantic golem. What the hell, man? Siege engine. Um... 
I don't know what I'm doing. Is that his weak spot behind him? Okay then, cool. Uh, left trigger means target. So like, see how the screen sort of like uh, focuses? That means like you're sort of targeted in on something and you can like strafe as opposed to just like moving around like that. Hi Sapphire, I found the next boss and apparently I sequence broke last time because I was actually supposed to fight the librarian after this and something else, I believe. I want to get my fox back. Thank you. Okay, yeah, staying up close and personal with you is like the ideal thing. I cannot see what is happening. Ouch. My dude, what? This music, though. Oh, shoot. You seem easier than the librarian. I just got like overly reckless with that attempt. And if you just stay near him at all times, it's like there's really not much he can do. Because he overshoots you. need to find the right spot to hit him. How did I miss the weak point? There we go. And if I can get those orbs to blow up on him too.
Ah, I couldn't heal in time. Okay. He's not hard. He's not hard. Okay. It's going to take a few attempts, but... At least he's no librarian. Where's my souls? Oh. Okay. Ooh, you lucky I can't run around and hit your weak point. Yikes. Oh my god, the range on the sword keeps throwing me off. Got him. That might have been the easiest boss to date. You gotta love, like, those bosses where it's, like, the best way to beat them is to be, like, as close to them as possible at all times. Because then when those mines started coming out, they would just go straight to him and blow up, dealing damage to him. His attacks kept overshooting. You love to see it. You love to see it. Now am I worthy? Am I missing something up here? Oh, that. Yeah, we got the key. Wow, I only used one health potion, too. That's... wow. <laughs> Just 
Should I be standing this close to it? Ooh. Deep in the forest, we got the second red... Or, not the second red gear, just the red gear. I just got one more to find. All right. Progress is being made. Okay. So now to find... I don't think I gotta go to the quarry. Or rather the cathedral. Well, wait a minute. Oh, that tells me where each of the teleporters takes me to. Oh, okay. Um. Sealed at the root of the world. Where's the root of the world? Help me, Manual. You're my only hope. Oh, there's the boss I just beat. Okay. So I already got the one that was there. Green. I guess I do need to go into the quarry. Slash swamp. The main question is, how do I get there? I, 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 no, no, no. I ain't fighting them. They can just leave me alone. Now, where to? Was hoping this would shed some insight on where I need to go. The root, huh? Maybe I need to go back to the beginning?
or not. Well, that didn't work. So, uh, I might be lost. Yeah, I, um, I'm lost. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe there will be a clue out here? I doubt it. I'm so lost.
Oh, they are still alive. Um. Am I missing something? Okay. Um Yo, is there anyone here who's played the game? <laughs> I need help. I'm just running around aimlessly. Oh god. Someone help. Oh, well, at least I got one of those. Think of is to go back over here. Okay. Wait. This looks evil. It might be worth investigating. Okay. I'm so lost. This is where I just came from, but I'm just trying to get to the other side of the river.
Oh. Well, hidden treasure chest at least. Oh. Okay. Did I sequence break again? Okay. Hmm. Well, this sounds ominous. Come on, Fox. Oh my god, guys, we're actually about to make progress. Maybe. I don't know why these arches are giving me Water Wraith vibes from Pikmin 2. It's just very creepy. I do not like the Water Wraith. He scares me. Also, I hope I am going the right way. The quarry. Well, at least I ended up finding it. We back at it. We back at it. How dare you? Oh. What happened to my health? Okay, it doesn't actually kill you. 
but standing next to it until you're like about to die is less than ideal. The more you know, the more you know. My health could start going back up though. That would, that would be great. I have a feeling this is going to be a tough area. I don't know why I thought hitting that would be a good idea. Did I mention I'm stupid? Okay, this time I won't hit the... the I died right next to them, so my little ghost thing did hit those. Okay. You big. Hope you don't mind me opening this. Like I'm getting near you. You just want me dead. I'm afraid. Why would I do that? Can't do much with that. Okay, let me just get out of here then. Just going with the flow. God, I would like to see, though.
Okay. Um, first of all, how dare you? Only I may snipe. Oh my god. Ooh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the grapple. Okay. Got him. Just how rude and inconsiderate can you be? Alright, sword and shield all the way from Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's go. Don't have much in the way of news today. Although I do know that there is apparently a Tekken anime in the works. That could be promising. Well then. No, please. We... Yeah. Oh, but it doesn't matter anyway. I'm one hit away from death. I am very much on edge. Second movie will probably be a hit or complete flop, but that's what worries you. I mean, from what I saw, it's one of the more promising things out there. Like, the animation was genuinely good. Because usually if they go the, like, anime route, things turn out fine. Like, for example, Street Fighter 2 the movie, live action, hot garbage. Street Fighter 2 the, like, anime movie, a classic. Am I confusing street, live action Street Fighter? There wasn't a live action Street Fighter movie. Um, I mean, well, there was the Chun Li movie. I, I was confusing with Mortal Kombat again. <laughs> well, speaking of anime movies built on or based on games. I need to find a way to watch the Bayonetta one. I heard good things about that one, too. The mission team got to match the vibes of Tekken. I don't know enough about the project to state if, like, the devs have a hand in it. But I would hope they do. I 
I admittedly also don't know much about the Tekken uh, mythos. I, I did watch a bit of Maximilian's, like, um, Pegasus, re not Pegasus, Tekken retrospective when um, Kazuya was getting added to Smash. All I know about Tekken is that, like, sons and granddads hate each other. <laughs> like, Jin, Kazuya, and Hayachi just all hate each other, and there's, like, a dark energy that's coursing through all of them. Yeah, there's a Bayonetta anime. Well, movie. Um, pausing the game. Oh, yeah, that came out a minute ago, actually. Yep. Bayonetta Bloody Fate came out in 2013, an hour and 30 minutes. Based on the 2009 game, and it had the, well, the Japanese version at least, um, had the actual characters who voiced them in the game. I'm not sure about the dub. Um... As an, as an adaptation of Bayonetta rather than a direct translation, Bloody Fate storyline follows the events and characters of the game with some slight changes to locales, order, and details. After waking from 500 years of slumber at the bottom of a lake with no memory of her life before, the Ember Witch Bayonetta embarks on a journey to rediscover her identity and her past. Oh, it even had an accompanying manga that ran for a month. Well, yep, yeah, came out uh, 2013. The I've only ever seen clips of it. Like, the animation looks great. Funimation licensed the film for North America. And, yeah, it had, like, positive uh, feedback. I mean, IMDb it has like a 5.7 on IMDb, but, you know, anime fans, I don't know, things related to anime always tends to get the short end of the stick when reviewed by outlets. Because, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! games tend to review poorly, but they tend to be fun to play. Because, like, yeah, it has like a 5.7 on IMDb, but out of Google users, 81% like the movie. <laughs> so, you know, you just gotta like pick and choose. Is it on Rotten Tomatoes? No, okay. But yeah, Bayonetta has a movie. I should probably put that on like a movie night list poll thing. Hmm. One of the type of video game adaptations, so I was flabbergasted that Uncharted is not an original movie. It's like based off a series of games. Ouch. I remember that being a thing when it first came out. Like, the um, commercials for it. Because one of them was like, Dear Sony, how do I convince my girlfriend that she's watching me play a game called Uncharted and it's not actually a movie? Because it was so cinematic, people who weren't familiar with games thought it was a movie. This is not going to end well. I know I'm leaving money down there, but I need to survive. Also, the Uncharted movie is already out.
This isn't going to end well. Oh, so it's already out in theaters. Okay. Well, nice to hear that it's apparently good. I was... Well, I don't know. I mean... Like, I had my initial concerns that I'm always going to have with anything based off of a game. But also Uncharted. I don't know. Something about it feels like if anything can have a successful movie adaptation, it will be that. I would argue Bioshock 2, but the Bioshock movie has kind of been in development limbo for over a decade, so I say over a decade, almost two decades. So that's probably not going to be happening anytime soon, or when it finally does, it probably won't be good. Which is a shame. Don't take my death ring seriously, it's never touched a console. Sorry for the mic there. I mean, fair enough, but. You know, people can tell when a movie is bad or good. I mean, I'm not saying Uncharted movie is going to be like Citizen Kane or anything, but... I'm sure it'll be an enjoyable watch. So avoid the Why they got to be so mean? He still shot me. I'm dead. I there's no way. Yeah, whoops indeed. This is too tense.
Can I heal though? Yeah, back on the subject of game, movie, movie game adaptations. It was sad to hear that the Ratchet and Clank movie wasn't all that good. I kind of had a feeling that was going to be the case. Especially when, like, the PS4 game undid everything and like from, from the original game like oh we're gonna retell the story and it wasn't as good in my opinion like the Ratchet and Clank 1 story was already good like it didn't need to be altered But just changing everything to shoehorn in Dr. Nefarious. I don't know. Like, to me, Dr. Nefarious is beginning to turn into the Steve Urkel of the Ratchet and Clank series. Like, fun, entertaining character. Can have good stories built around them. But... It's not necessary. And he's beginning to like overtake other characters and plot lines. Where am I going? And can I get my health back? <laughs> Immediately turned around. Oh yeah, and we got the Mario movie coming out now. I was optimistic about it until they revealed who will like, be voicing the characters. Cause I thought that was weird in the, in the direct, like Oh, we're going to announce, like, the people who will be voicing characters in the Mario movie. I'm just like, what? Like, you don't need to have an announcement for Charles Martinet. And then, oh, Chris Pratt is going to be Mario. For reasons. Seth Rogen is going to be Donkey Kong. I mean, sadly, that's probably like the most sensical casting decision out of everything else in that movie, but still, it's just like, why? The memes were gold. Yeah. No, it's still, like, heartbreaking. That's the only one I'm fine with. No, wait. What's... Wait. 
Was Seth Rogen DK? No, yeah, yeah, he was DK. Who was Bowser? Is Jack Black Bowser? I think so. Which I hate. But I like Jack Black, but I don't think I'm going to like Jack Black Bowser. Especially since I just have a feeling they're going to like make the character like switch Bowser up to be more in line with like a Jack Black personality. Yo, can I heal somewhere? Now I know about this shortcut. It's not what I meant to do. Wanna fight me, you coward? got me. <sighs> Keegan-Michael Key as Toad is just bizarre. I don't know why that's the one I'm stuck on, but... I guess it's also the confusion as to, like... What speaking role... Or, like, story relevance will a talking toad even have This area is mean Now I'm beginning to question if I'm even supposed to be here. Oh, he mad. Got him with a backstab, at least. I really do not know if I'm supposed to be here.
That didn't alert him. Could not find the ladder. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I want to go down there. I mean, you're not wrong. But it's a little hard to enjoy the aesthetic when one hit will kill me. What, where am I going? Like, I might be sequence breaking again for all I know. <laughs> what? Okay. that white stuff is eating up the land? I am having the hardest time.
Like, I do not know what is being asked of me. Sorry for the large amounts of silence, like, I am just like super on edge. Yeah, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Where am I? There I am. Um... <laughs> Have I made it out? Oh no. What have I done? Inside the ziggurat. Do I want to be here? Is the question. <gasps> oh my god. Thank you. All righty. 
now we can explore without fear. We can still get ambushed. These guys are so annoying. I am playing really poorly. And I need to remember I have magic. Wow. That's counterproductive. There we go. We built a bridge. I'm, I'm very excited about that bridge. Is that a shortcut I unlocked? Y'all got any of them there? Shortcuts? I need a shortcut, player. Don't worry, fam, I got you. Just swoop on back through here. You all set. Oh, no. Trade me. Um, I did not sign up for all of that. Thank you. Okay. But at least he follows, like, the same sort of deal as that engine where, like, just staying real close means I'm less likely to get hit. I can't get hit with bullets. That was the s'mores reference of the day. 
Don't worry, there will not be too many more of those. Well, no, no promises. It's fun to quote s'mores. If you're unfamiliar with s'mores, he's a YouTube rapper who is very bad and might be on Valium. Comes from the 50 Cent School of Rap of never opening your mouth to rap. <laughs> And he was following me on Twitter for like a hot minute and then I just like caused him to shadow and follow me. <laughs> okay. Sick Ill is another YouTube rapper who was following me for a hot minute. Pretty much I think they were just following anybody who would even mention their music. Sick Ill does a lot of, like, rap songs over Sonic and Sega tracks. I don't know, he did one over, um, Chrono Trigger. Like, Chrono Trigger OST. And he has a bunch of his own original, like, songs, too. He's pretty awful. With the fact that he does, like his own music videos with like Windows Movie Maker. I'm afraid. See what what happened to all the nature stuff? Now now we're getting into supernatural. Let's bring it back to natural. Okay, this is genuinely unsettling. Just to corrupt the form of all the consequences of the industrial area, no biggie. Well then, there's gonna be a lot more where that came from because... who oh man, were there a lot of consequences. That's how those things are being... So they're being mass-produced? Yo! So this is some kind of, like, industrialism critique while also still dealing with the shamanism of the place? Usually you don't see that. Which is pretty neat. Because for a second here with like this little um, super advanced area and all these mechs, I thought we were sort of getting into like, with, with like a better uh, sense, the, the trope of uh, like, the evil scientists destroying the environment to get what they want. Like, Dr. Robotnik in the Sonic games. Or Cortex in the Crash games. No, this is getting into, like, cave story stuff. Like, you got the des destruction of the environment and the living creatures there. While also harnessing, like, the magical powers or ancient, like, tech for yourself. 
is what the doctor did in that game. Interesting. I also have no idea if I'm supposed to be here or not. Oh, are they dead? Nuh-uh. Nope. Why are you like a boo? Oh my god, they split. Okay, so the moral of the story, do not let them gang up on you. Still getting hit. That's one way of dealing with them. Oh my god, thank you. I can now use more potion. Well, well, well. Frick. Somehow, somehow I lived through all of that. My health is shot, though.
No! Okay. What if we just run for it? This was a bad idea. Okay, so you're not invincible when you open the chests? Okay. All right. So that's what happens when you run. Would not recommend it. These things aren't particularly hard, it's just when you gotta fight multiple at the same time, that's mean. Of course I got hit. Okay, just don't get walled in. What if... Oh my god, I made it through him without getting hit, okay.
Whatever. Okay. That went well ish. Okay. Slow and steady. Oh, wrong buttons all the time. Oh, I can't grapple onto that. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I was right next to the save thing this entire time. I should have just bolted for that. But nope, I was like, ooh, let me open the treasure chests. Fighting two at the same time. hurt you game One down. That was the quickest. God 
Just stay close to them. Just stay close to them. Nothing they can do. Well, now that explains why praying to those things causes things to happen. Okay. N no. So those aren't considered bosses. Good to know. Nope. 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 Already fought y'all. Nope. I genuinely feel like I might have taken a uh, wrong turn at Albuquerque. The Hidden Vault. Dead. For now. Scavenger. Okay. this time. I didn't even attempt to shield that. Okay then, um, my attacks were doing nothing? Yes, raise defense please. No, I did not mean to. Okay. Just gonna see what's behind it. 
Oh, that's probably going to send me back. Okay. I've lasted longer this time. Oops. Kick destroys your shield. Oh, I'm out of. Okay. Okay. He's going to be tough. <laughs> Worth the shot. Oh my god. It wasn't really worth it in the grand scheme of things, but it is nice to know that, that freeze effect work on bosses. The only thing with him is that he doesn't leave himself open for attacks. Like, ever.
He did a second one. Well, I'm down five of those bombs. Um, he is susceptible to freeze, but does it really matter? His attacks come out so fast. If I'm even supposed to be here, honestly. Oh, his parry kick doesn't do any damage? That was the closest I've gotten.
Wow. All of that magic only did that much damage, okay. I cannot time that. And when he does that big sweep, it's only one. And when he does that, it's going to be a second attack. Yeah, okay. I didn't even see what I had his health down to that time. That was risky for like minuscule damage. Oh my god, do I actually have him in an Um, he, you did it to yourself, boy. You did it to yourself. That was a fun one. Oh, I was supposed to be here. Okay. At the root of the world. All you have to do is just be patient. Could it be I'm actually getting better at the game? Oh wow. Um, Tunic Fox, please. Thank you. Yep. 
it was a tough one, but I managed. So now I got all three of the gears. Hello. I like the little wave. Yeah, it's taking me less and less time to defeat the bosses. Either I'm getting better or they're getting easier. Nah, that one, that one was genuinely tough. I think I got lucky, but... Sword? Hmm. But yeah, I think I got lucky with, like, for about a third of his health, he was just stuck in the wall. But we take those, nonetheless. Yes, I know I could consult the manual to see which teleporter takes me where, but I'm lazy. There's a ladder. Okay. Y'all can't even climb ladders. Oh, let, let me. I know how to walk. Let your guard down, Chico. I wasn't about to let him get away. You know what? You, you can catch these hands, too. I didn't want him to feel left out. I would really like to get that manual page. But I guess I'm not allowed. Oh, I never went in here? Oh my god. Well, that would have been helpful. Activated this teleporter mostly because I didn't know it was a teleporter. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Or did I activate that one?
Excuse me, buddy. I got wishes to make. And by wishes, I mean wish. Exactly one. Yeah! We got the wireframe square! I don't know what that do. Wait. Are these boons? Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Their bones. All this time. Tincture attack up, shield down. Oh my god. Muffling bell. That would make, I guess, silent. Sword on fire, no damage from fire. Oh my god, and the perils, those probably mean attack goes up when you're in peril. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. I have been playing this game hard mode for... <laughs> okay! I should really look up what each one of those do. Don't you just love it when you figure out how to play a game when you're already, like, deep into it? Like, I'll never forget that one, like, clip of this one streamer. She was playing Breath of the Wild. She made it through, like, all of the dungeons. Well, not dungeons. All of the Divine Beasts. And was doing, like, a final cleanup of the land before she went to fight uh, Ganon. And she found this one shrine. And she was like... Huh. Oh, I guess I must have missed this shrine earlier on. And she was just reading the text. It's like, uh, raise your shield at this exact moment to parry. Wait, what? This game has parries? And, yeah, she started executing the parries and, uh, yeah. She beat the entire... I almost beat the entirety of Breath of the Wild before learning that there was a parry system. Honestly, I hope she uploaded the entirety of that playthrough, because I'm genuinely curious as to how she managed some parts of that game, because, like, dang... <laughs> How are you beating some of those bosses and, like, enemies without knowing how to parry? But it can happen. I mean, I've seen people beat Pokemon without knowing the elemental weaknesses. Or, or just weaknesses in general. What did I do? Yes, achievement unlocked. What now?
Okay, I did that. Is everything going to be awful when I get back out here? No. Checking one thing. Okay, I guess I gotta like kill them first. Cause there was a room in here that kind of matched what those looked like. Yep. Oh my god, we've been Kirby'd. Oh my god. Yo. She was evil all along? Wait. Why can't... I want to read this stuff. Why can't you translate? This betrayal, though. Oh. <laughs> Table of contents. In secrets, memo pages. Quarry, Swamp, Cathedral. Civilization, Holy Cross, the power to defy death. Air to the air. And here I thought I was doing the right thing. So now what?
This is crazy. Something bad. Oh no, they, they're speaking English now. So does this mean I'm actually like dead? Fourth key? Siege engine. Yeah, I've I've beaten Siege Engine. Hero fool. Well, I I meant well. I didn't expect this to happen. Well, dang, um... Regardless, that was a... That, that was a plot twist and a half, but... With that... I'm gonna be winding down on this here stream. Considering... It wasn't the standard, like, also welcome back to YouTube, uh, but considering it wasn't the standard, like, depth and me respawning at, like, here, I think that's a scripted loss. Which, fair enough, if you're going to make a scripted loss, always make it so that, like, you have no chance. That way there's, like, no ambiguity and you're not, like, losing your mind trying to win a fight. That you can't win, but yeah, I'm 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 thinking that was supposed to happen because I was like, oh, the hero, you're a fool, oh, something bad, and even the terrain here has changed up. Yeah, I'm about to be winding down on the old street. Yeah, I can't go. Where do I go? Apparently there's a fourth key. Hmm. Oh, but as far as uh, tomorrow's stream goes, it's going to be Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Swamp? And what's with these doors? I, I feel like I should be able to open them. Cathedral. Ghost. Yeah, because I've never been to the cathedral. Yeah, I'm excited for Curbs. Like, even the reviews for it have been, like, spectacular. Cathedral, Moonlight. Big fight.
old burying ground. God, why did the game just have to throw like this big old plot twist at me? The thing I thought I was saving and like doing a good old job and everything. Like, oh, okay, now I kill you with the sword. Ugh, you lols. God, I don't know if I can wait for another stream of this to like play forward. I never really committed to saying I would beat this on stream, but it feels like the right thing to do at this point. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow is going to be Kirby. And then we'll figure out what's going to be done next week. Possibly more Kirby. And I know I kind of like slacked off on the whole winter of mist content thing oh shit wait next week is oh friday is april 1st oh oh i need to prepare a cursed movie night well, that's ominous. But yeah. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Uh, next week... Well, tomorrow is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Next week will probably be, like... Tuesday will be Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Friday will be a movie night. I'm gonna have to get the choices ready. Uh, we'll probably have those up tonight. And then next Saturday... cave story I'm gonna finally beat it I hope but all right well I mean I've already beaten the main game I meant like the true ending but yeah thanks for tuning into the stream everybody and I will see you all next time tomorrow 6 p.m. EST Kirby good night <laughs>